the Euro Tunnel again, but we are going to the Nürburgring one last time this year. Uh, in total, this is going to be my third trip to the ring this year. Um, second in this, as you've seen from my previous video, I had a complete fail last time out. But this weekend has been in the diary for a long, long time. Probably about six months with my friend James there with a the cat on, anyways. And um, yeah, we're going over for VLN weekend and go see GT3 stuff, it's VLN 8. Uh, so it's coming to the end of the championship for those guys. And um, a couple of friends over there that we're hoping to meet up with. Actually, I need to message them when we get to out the tunnel the other side. It is um, currently in the tunnel at the moment. And, um, and then drive the ring on the Sunday, which I'm really, really buzzing for, especially in this car as well. Can't wait to get my hands on it. I've got my V-Box in, uh, so we're gonna see what British gantry time we can get out of it. Um, Looks a bit damp at the moment, but touch wood, we'll have a little bit of luck with the weather and then yeah, get dry lap in and see what time we can do. So yeah. Ready for VLN tomorrow? Are you? Oh, brilliant, yeah. Can't wait. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Good morning from VLN 8 at the Nürburgring. Bloody freezing this morning. It's not been this cold in a long, long time. We've got a four hour race today, eighth round of the championship, all to play for. Um, Nissan GTR GT3 car next to a 3 Series with basically a roll cage in it. There's anything and everything in this championship which makes it quite a spectacle. So qualification is done. Uh, the two guys we're supporting, we've got Frank Stipler in the GT3 class, the SP9 class, and an Audi, a Phoenix Audi R8. Uh, he's fifth overall. Um, and then Brad Philpott, uh, a fellow instructor, Palm Sport instructor of back in the day, uh, in the TCR class, is fifth as well in the Peugeot 308. So, um, yeah, we're just having a nose round, nice and close at the cars. Now we're not being booted out of it then. Uh, the race starts in about an hour or so, something. So then we're going to go for a wander around the track and see what we can see. Managed to make it onto the grid, so we're going to try and see the pole position car. Um, then go to see Brad, which is obviously a little bit further back in the TCR class, and then um, head up to the grandstands for turn one. And of course they have the German band. <laughs> Only in Germany. Yeah, a trip to the ring with a YouTube video can't be complete without YouTube Corner.
going, James? Very good. Cold. Good. Yep, race is finished. Brad's drive shaft broke, so he was nowhere, unfortunately. I think Frank was like fifth or sixth, something like that. So I don't think they had the result that they wanted or needed after running uh, quite well in the opening stint. Um, but yeah, we've had enough of looking at everyone else driving, so we're going to go and drive the ring tonight whilst it's dry. Uh, hopefully in the next hour or so, uh, and then probably hit the track tomorrow. So let's go to the North Life. So we've woken up on Sunday now, uh, we managed to get three laps in uh, yesterday but uh, the Sunday it was always going to be wet at some point and I think it's absolutely tipped it down overnight so we decided to reset our alarms and go back to sleep and when we Woke up this morning, bright and breezy, to hit the track first thing, but when it's wet, there's just no no point in risking it whatsoever. So um, now we are just having a very chilled out morning. I think I'll check in, check outs at 12, um, and we're going to check out then. And then head down to the circuit, see some cars, and then just see what the track does really, uh, whether we get out or not. So um, it's just not worth the risk if it's, if it's wet, because it is so slippery out there. So. We'll keep you posted on the cars in the car park and then um, whether we get on track or not. Yeah, that's cool. When it's a rainy day, one thing you can do is take photos by the ring sign. <laughs> today GT3 RS M2 Corvette I just love an M2 or GT3 well there's not really much going on in the car park so we're going to YouTube corner again to see some cars slipping and sliding let's try not to scrape the front anymore um, Right, we've seen the track, looks dry enough. We're going to do one last one, just for jokes. Luggage and all.
finished our final lap of the weekend. Um, yeah, the track was dry, a little bit patchy in places, uh, loads of oil down at one point as well, uh, which really slowed us up. But apart from that, it was that was nice. I'm really, really glad we did that. It was capped off a pretty mega weekend, especially after how bleak it was this morning. And what a nice afternoon it is now, which is a shame. But um, yeah, we're going to do our strategic packing now, try and get all of that in there and in the front as well, and then uh, hit the road back to the UK. So yeah, it's been a mega one. Last time this uh, for this year at the ring. Um, which would be a shame, but looking forward to coming back already. So, um, yeah, I think next time we'll probably catch up will be Portugal for the uh, Historic Masters stuff. And, um, yeah, we'll catch up then. If you uh, like this video, please let me know what you liked. Or if you'd like to see more or anything like that, uh, please, please make sure you drop me a like and subscribe for more content. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye, James. Bye.